Welcome to our talk about photosynthesis, and that's just kind of how plants feed of the entire world, right? We animals here are kind of mooching off of them from this process. So all living things require energy, and that's to help them co to complete any of their cellular processes for life. Walking around, standing up, eating, reproducing, all of those need energy. Energy is stored in chemical bonds, and those really are just bonds between atoms. So an example of that is glucose, and we're going to use glucose a lot in this example, in this slideshow, so bear with me. Right, when the chemical bonds are broken, energy is captured in the form of ATP, right? Because that ATP is kind of like money in a cell. It's used for a bunch of different pieces in a bunch of different places in the cell. The photosynthesis is where the energy in sunlight is stored in the chemical bonds of glucose, and then the glucose can be used later. Right. Photosynthesis is done by all autotrophs, plants, bacteria, protists. Photo just means light, and synthesis means to make or to put together. So photosynthesis is a pretty obvious word once you understand that photo means light and synthesis means to put together. Let's just go through the very basic who, what, when, where pieces, right? Photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast, and it needs carbon dioxide, water, and some energy to make photosynthesis happen. And what you get back out are sugars, which is glucose, and oxygen. So if you want the chemical equation, we write it um, like this down at the bottom, six CO2 molecules plus six H2O molecules plus some light energy gives us one sugar molecule and six oxygens. Okay. The carbon dioxide actually enters the plant through the stomata, and those are the tiny holes on the bottom side of the leaf. We'll get to see those. Water enters the plant through the roots, which is why plants have roots. And then the light energy is captured by a chemical pigment inside the chloroplasts called chlorophyll. And then we go through a whole number of chemical reactions, none of which you need to know in basic level biology. And then we get glucose and oxygen out the other side. So I think we could summarize this fairly readily into this neat little photosynthesis chart. Right? It talks about carbon dioxide going in through the leaves, water going in through the roots, minerals going in through the roots, although the minerals are not that essential to the process of photosynthesis. And then we have oxygen and sugar coming out of the process.